Hey, I'm Andrew Horn. Welcome to Compendium. This is the series where I bring you audiobook video versions of my short fiction. At the moment, it's stories from my 2020 project, Compendium 2020, in which I wrote 52 short stories in science fiction, fantasy, and horror, and gave them away free. So the last video, uh, video number 22 in this series, was taken down by YouTube for apparently violating their community guidelines didn't violate any community guidelines, but I can understand that the algorithm thought that I had posted something about conspiracy theories. I hadn't. The story was against them. But anyway, let's draw a line under that. Here's the next one. This is To Banish the Dark. To Banish the Dark by Andrew Haunt. Universe Sign. Its sigh lasted generations, as was felt across myriad galaxies. Storms raged for centuries as the sigh passed, and many worlds were wrought asunder by its godlike sweep. Universe was tired of watching, tired of being an observer instead of a participant. Since time began, it had watched the evolution of the energies that swirled within it. It had watched dust become planets, and the most simple life forms eventually become galaxy conquering tribes of every description. The decision had been made. All things would end eventually, and so Universe decided to bring that time forward. It pulled at its own edges, shaping itself as it contracted across eons, shrinking across ages that no consciousness could comprehend. Galaxies were crushed into atoms. Time warped and bent around trillions of worlds. Universe fashioned itself into the rough shape of a humanoid. Those creatures that had spread so far throughout its expanse and had conquered countless systems. They were ruthless and headstrong, determined and stubborn. Universe sought that stubbornness. Universe wanted to walk and laugh and eventually experience the moment of death that severed those souls from its realm. Universe moved reality around and created its new body, its mass so dense that nothing else could exist. But that was okay. If Universe decided, it could expand again and let the story begin anew. It became. It lived. Universe laughed into the nothing that was left around it. It pushed its form downwards, or at least what it perceived as down in the void. Universe looked around the void and screamed. The void was breaking. With nothing left to fill it, other universes could cross through. Universe wept the dust of galaxies falling from incomprehensible eyes as nightmares from across creation tore the void apart, hurtling towards the universe's first body, ready to feed on what it was and what it had been. After so much had been created and so much had been lost within it, the universe saw the error of its ways. The universe sighed again and open its arms wide. As the nightmares converged on it, universe expanded. Its death would bring life, and those other places would never take its place. The void would be filled with the new, with the 